Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Right, so I posted chapter 1 variant 6 guide quite a while ago and then a lot of live stuff happened and I kind of forgot about it and I apologize for that but uh, due to um, many many people <laughs> very persistently requesting these videos because I kind of thought that I'm just gonna let it be. Uh, here it is variant 2 exploration guide and tomorrow I will upload variant 3 exploration guide so we're going to be combining both of the quests in this one video where I'm going to explain the best counters for each of the lanes so this is 2.1 and we basically have four different lanes leading to an electro boss and there is that vision arcus mini that's always a pain right so on the left side we have monster beast aggression regeneration and recovery and the key aspect here is that uh, monster and beast lanes, basically. Whenever you trigger unstoppable or unblockable, you trigger a regeneration passive that regenerates 10% of your max health over 5 seconds, but also you inflict petrify by 200%, thus reversing all of the regeneration that the opponent's having. And this leads to very, very fun, cheesy fights whenever you so happen to trigger uh unstoppable and then you need to look at the villains who can do that and pretty much the best option probably is the magneto because he's like super tanky so i'm gonna demonstrate that but you can achieve very similar results with uh, rhino every time you do a longer dash he triggers unstoppable and you reverse the regeneration also another slept option is uh Kingpin. Every time you throw a heavy attack, Kingpin goes unstoppable. And that's very, very easy to capitalize on. So initially here, you can see that I'm not doing absolutely anything. I'm just letting that aggression regeneration build up a bit. So we're going to build it up to like 10, whatever. And then I'm going to drop a heavy attack and his health bar is disappearing. You can do that again and the fight's over. Two heavy attacks done and dusted and again very similar process with rhino with uh, plenty of other champions but namely it's kingpin rhino and magneto that you do want to use here very simple very effective and there are actually two more lanes that function pretty much identically we have this beast regeneration uh, recovery you can do exactly the same thing there with exactly the same champions you will just not get that regeneration buff on yourself but it doesn't really matter and then we have identical line on the left side so remember kingpin rhino and magneto are your best options i'm sure there are other options that you can use uh, but those are the easiest in my opinion and they can be four stars then can be five stars because it really doesn't matter how hard they hit it really doesn't matter how much health you have so long as you don't get hit yourself it's just triggering those unstoppable effects. And I'm sure anybody or almost anybody who's doing Variant 6 can have access to one of those champions as a 4 star, 5 or 6 star, depending where you're at in a game. And then there is the trickiest line here, which is this monster and taunts. Now, monster helps you off offset the taunts damage, but taunts here does a lot of damage. Right, the best way is how to deal with this quite obviously well first and foremost is magneto because uh, every time you're heavy you're gonna get that regeneration buff and you're just going to out region the taunts damage but not everybody has magneto then do remember that omega red is also perfectly capable of bypassing taunts with his tentacle hits so that is another worthwhile option and a little bit not so mainstream i actually had quite a lot of success using kingpin because again kingpin access is unstoppable on every single heavy attack that alone wasn't quite enough but kingpin's level one has 50 percent ability accuracy reduction on your opponents and that meant only every other hit got reflected back that torn damage and every hit triggers unstoppable so i was cons consistently regening and if I was ever kind of like on low health, I could just slow play it a bit. And Kingpin put in a very, very respectable amount of work as well. 
when it comes to other options, I actually don't think there are too many because despite how it initially looks like, there aren't that many good villains in the game. I'm sure I'm blanking out on somebody. Therefore, you can definitely leave a comment in the comment section and help everybody else out. But yeah, there aren't as many options as you thought. Right, now we have this regeneration with Nargis mini boss. Quite honestly, the easiest time here I had was with Rhino. I just hit him twice, dashed back, hit him twice, dashed back. And that was my most successful way of dealing with that guy. I suspect you can easily use Dr. Doom and some other champions as well, because when you trigger unblockable, you also reverse the healing. But honestly, my kind of like little secret weapon here was Rhino. He did a fantastic job, very easy solos. And then there's the Electro boss. And the best counters for him are pretty much all of the ones that I mentioned here previously. Now, he does have Arc Overload, but that regeneration isn't quite potent enough to rely on winning the fight by reversing it like you can do on the lanes to here. But uh, your own regeneration you get every time you trigger unstoppable or unblockable is quite significant. Therefore, Magneto is still one of the best options. Kingpin would still work quite well. Omega Red will do great. And uh, I actually used Immortal Abomination several times as well to get this Electro down. So those would be the better options. Again, I'm sure I'm blanking out on something, but these are the options that I use that I know firsthand do well. Right, now let's move on to the second map, which is gonna be 2.2. .2. Then go over the nodes and lanes there. The boss is Drax. We're going to get to him in a moment. Let's just go over every single path. So we have one path here on the left side. And that is Overlord and Tyrant. Each time buff is nullified of the Defender will and Takers gain an indefinite precision passive. And Tyrant, you deal extra damage when you hit their block if they have weakness. Quite honestly, these nodes are useless. For most part. I mean, it's nice to get some more precision and crit rate, but that Tyrant is uh, all but useless. So just use whatever villain you have ranked up higher. Only really tricky find there is the Mysterio. So definitely think about how you can get past him. But ultimately, just bring in whatever villain champions you have ranked the highest or are the better ones that you have access to, and you're just gonna be fine. The lane's not hard, but the nodes are but useless and it's not worth trying to find a weakness debuff that you can benefit from Tyrant, for example. It's not worth it. The fact that uh, there is a nullified aspect to it, Venom can benefit from it and obviously the mystic villains such as Morningstar and Doctor Doom and whoever else. But you really don't have to get worked up about it. It's a useless, useless lane. Right. Wait, <laughs> did I enter the... Is it the right one? One second, I just need to double check something that I'm not missing. I think this was 2.2, right? This was 2.2. Yeah, it was. I'm just being silly. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Because I was thinking, it's like, how come it does have so little paths in it? Anyways, let's move on to the middle lane. The middle lane is Overlord, Fury, and Armor. And again, you can use a Mystic Champion and gain some precision buffs, but ultimately just bring in whoever you want. Doctor Doom, Venom, Morningstar, whatever. Nothing too critical on this lane. There's Medusa, but if you have Mystic Champion, you're not gonna have a hard time. Maybe Black Panther Civil War can be annoying, but again, it's just gonna generate a lot of buffs. And yeah, it's easy pickings. And the final lane here is the Tyrant and uh, Enhanced Weakening. They did remove What's Yours Is Mine node from it. And that, again, makes this path extremely vanilla and generic. There's nothing too annoying on it, aside from Defenders, because Mojo and Juggernaut and Longshot and Stealth Spidey and Nick Fury, Human Torch, all can be annoying and Elsa. 
but the nodes effectively mean nothing. It's kind of like a blank node there. So just bring in a counter for Mojo, bring in a counter for Gladiator Hulk, etc., etc. what you have access to. Uh, like Magneto can do a solid job against Mojo and Gladiator Hulk. Uh, then you have Elsa, where again, you can pretty much use whoever you want, so long as you're not bleeding her with non-mutant champion. Juggernaut, bring in a slow champion or a nullified champion or power control champion and so on and so forth. So this map, in all honesty, is pretty much the most straightforward one. Total, there is uh, no high restrictions, but there are also no ways how to cheese or benefit much of it. Now here, Drax. Tyrant and Overlord nodes are again quite useless. Opportunist doesn't matter too much. Aggressive, whatever. Superior specials. Who cares? Optimist, nothing. So again, this is a slightly exaggerated Drax in Arena. It's about as simple. You can pretty much bring in whoever you want. There's not a single node that does anything meaningful in this fight at all. There is uh, not even a single thing to point out or watch out for. So, this map is probably the most dull and bland and tasteless of entire variant. The map, the previous quest that we described is a lot more interesting. And the next chapter, obviously, is significantly harder that I will upload a full guide on for tomorrow. But this one, uh, yeah, it's just straightforward. Bring your stronger champions and that's about it. And no, that's not exactly what a guide video should tell you, but that is not too much to advise you from on this quest in particular. But yeah, that will do for this one. And as I said, I will leave a link in description for chapter one uh, guide and tomorrow stay tuned for the upload of chapter three. That's it for now. And I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.